I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a spinning wheel. I'm going to write the word spinning wheel up here in the upper right hand corner and what they made with a spinning wheel was material called home spun. Now I want you to start way over here on the right hand side three fingers put a dot. Now there's going to be a lot of floating lines so we're only going to draw parts of things before we draw all the thing. So starting over here we're going to draw a curve line out, curve line in and leave it floating. Come back to the top we're going to draw a curve line out, curve line in and keep it floating. Because right here in the center we're going to put a dot and we're going to draw a curved line, straight line, connect. Then we're going to draw a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right, and we're going to leave that floating. We can come back over here on the right and connect that line. Okay? Now, starting right next to it, we're going to mimic that line going all the way around. Keep going, keep going, keep going until we come and connect. Starting over here on the left, let's just put a dot and we're going to draw a straight line over, little curve line, straight line back, and leave that floating. Because right above here, we're going to put another dot, and this time we're going to draw a baby circle and a little circle inside. We come over to the top and draw a straight line, slightly curved line, straight line down, connect, and now we draw a big straight line, slightly curved line, straight line up and back down. Now we can continue this line, jump over, straight line out, straight line down. Now we can continue this line, straight line, connect, jump over, straight line, connect. We go back over to this side and we're going to try and line up these lines so that we draw a straight line down, slightly curved line over, straight line up, connect. We're going to come way over here on the right and we're just going to draw a slightly diagonal line, straight line, diagonal line up, connect, come over here on the left, diagonal line out, straight line, diagonal line up, connect. Right here we're just going to draw a straight line, straight diagonal line, straight diagonal line, straight line, connect. And now we're coming up here and we're going to go one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines on the right. Jump over, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines on the left. Okay. Now we are going to draw a straight line on the left. These are called horizon lines, so our spinning wheel is not floating in outer space. And now we are going to start putting everything together. Okay, this down here is the foot pedal. And this is very important because this was one of the first machines that people used in colonial times part of the Industrial Revolution. So I'm going to put a baby triangle on the left, straight line, baby triangle down below, so that you know this foot pedal went up, down, up, down, up, down. Over here on the left, we're just going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, and put some little curve lines inside. And this is wool 
taken off of a sheep. The wool, straight line up, goes through the spinning wheel, straight line over, straight line down, and then feeds into curve line, curve line, straight line, straight line. This is a bobbin. This is what the thread would come out onto. Put a little straight line there. Okay. I'm going to show you that I am taking another curve line out, down, and over. And here's the triangle so you can see how the wool would go through the spinning wheel and then it comes up over to the bobbin. Okay, is that all? I never know. I think that's it. We'll know once we start coloring in. And let's see how we are going to color this. Okay, just take any color brown because the spinning wheels were made out of wood. And we're going to color the main sections of the wheel. So this is all brown, and this is all brown. Now, some of you might think, well, what is the big deal about this? You have to be a colonialist woman, and this was one of the things that upset everybody and brought us to the revolution, was that the colonies had to buy everything from England, and that included cloth. So instead of buying English cloth, the women got together and decided to spin, this is all brown, spin their own wool into thread and make it into cloth. So it was their way of defying the British government, just like it was for the Boston Tea Party to throw away British tea. It was like, we don't want to be dependent on the British for anything, including cloth material. And cloth was a big deal. You only had one pair of clothes. You only had one pair of shoes. So they were constantly repairing everything. So somebody decided, hey, let's make our own right here. And that was why the spinning wheel became so important. All right, now I'm going to take my red and I'm just going to color in these baby, cir uh, baby circle, baby triangles because they're important to show you how movement wise the thread, I mean the wool, was taken into. And of course, I knew I'd forget something. This needs to be a curved line up to our bobbin with a baby triangle. This is called a bobbin. This is what the thread became. And eventually, I mean, that's the mechanical part, and it eventually became yarn. Now I'd have to draw you a loom to show you how the yarn is made into cloth, but this was the first part that you would do. So those arrowheads are important. Now I'm going to take a green and I'm going to put the color on my wool so you can see it. Not that they had green sheep. I take my green, this is so you can see the direction of the wool being turned into yarn on the bobbin. Okay, so really making homespun yarn was a women's way of boycotting England's cloth. They used to get together when what they called spinning bees to all, all make uh, yarn on their spinning wheels. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, so here's our spinning wheel. It was very time consuming. Clothes took a long time to make something new. But like I said, this was the woman's way of boycotting England's cloth and getting us set up for the American Revolution. Okay, bye-bye.